Hello everybody and welcome to One Player. Today on the table, it's Mint Delivery. This is a pick up and deliver game from Justin Blasky and the team at 524 Labs. This is a Mint game, um, one of the those in the series that comes in this lovely Mint tin. And we are indeed picking up and delivering mints today. We are delivering regular mints, spear mints, and cinnamon mints. That's not really a mint, that's just candy. Before we get started though, I want to make a habit of this is my first video after opening the Patreon. If you didn't watch that video, you can go back and see it, but essentially the One Player Patreon is now live. I'm not gonna ramble on about it too much, but I do wanna dedicate some time at the start of each week to thank new patrons. So, without further ado, my massive, massive gratitude to Thag, to Livevine, to Chrissy, to Scott, to Richard, to William, and to Veselko. Thank you so much for joining me over there on the Patreon. Um, there'll be a link in the description if you want to go check it out. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Um, massive appreciation for joining me on this journey, and you are brilliant, or fantastic, or unbelievable, or you absolutely love to see it, depending on which tier you pledged at. <laughs> Let's get into the game. I've got a bit of a soft spot for pick up and delivers. I can't exactly pinpoint it, but I used to play this game with my grandpa called Bus Stop, where you picked up passengers and just took them to the places they wanted to go. Similarly with taxi, you pick up passengers and you take them to the place you want to go, you get paid for it. And there's a very simple, there's a simplicity to that, which I, I kind of appreciate. This is quite similar. We are picking up mints from these two factories here, and we are taking them to the various towns of which we have, well, we're trying to gain, I guess, a monopoly on mint delivery. Mel is, uh, Mel, slightly off camera, is getting in our way, obviously, in the red truck number five. Mel is just one of the characters that you can play against in this game. So each um, each truck color that comes with the game, so there's five different ones, has a different AI with various skills in the back. I've played against just a couple of these. I've played against Sonic, who is very fast, and Ori, who I think is supposed to be like a lazy dog, probably the office dog of 524. We're going to play against Mel today. They are in the red truck and they gain one star for each order that we fulfill. So kind of like jumping on our coattails a little bit. And this gives us the order preference of which orders they will want to pick up once they come to the order fulfilling, uh, the, the order taking square, I guess, on the map. Um, these are the orders that are available. We get to pick those orders as well. And, each, and for each order we fulfill to the right town, um, we get stars we earn stars so the most stars at the end of the game wins pretty straightforward and yeah that's all there is to it each turn we get two actions we can either move so one move um, like one space essentially is one move so we can move uh, we can move up to two times of, but that would be our only thing right we can move we can fulfill an order which is actually a free action so as soon as we're standing on the right town um, we can for free complete one of our orders we can load mints, so if we're sitting at the factory, or as the AI, if they're sitting in this robot entry, uh, this robot loading zone, um, they can load from here, from both belts, we can load from either belt in these two factory spaces. So we can load mints um, from the first four mints on the conveyor belt, I'll show you how that works in a second. We can take orders, so we can choose to pick up orders here, and we can also shift mints around again on the conveyor belt to maybe get the better, the, the mints we want closer to the front. So what we're going to do is just take all of these mints. These are every, This is every single mint that comes in the game. And I'm going to choose 20 of them, uh, preferably at random. And I'm going to put them onto the belts. So we're starting at the... I think we start at the front or we start at the back. I don't know if it, I don't know if it matters. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to start um, until there's 10 mints on each belt. So that's three... Four, I'll try to keep them in the spaces. Five, six, seven. You were kind of there, so let's. I knew this was going to be fiddly to do on camera. I probably should have just set it up beforehand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So not very many cinnamon mints out. Hopefully, don't get too many orders calling for cinnamon. We've got a half decent mix. 
These aren't going to stay on the conveyor belts forever, obviously, because we're going to be picking them up. And then as soon as we fulfill them, they just go back onto the conveyor belt. So they do get shuffled up a little bit. Um, and we, again, you'll see how that works. But essentially, we can pull mints from the first four mints on the conveyor belt. So these four here, these four here, in this kind of clockwise direction. And then the mints will shift back. So let's say we took this mint. Now the first four are these, and we can take from those four right there. So simple enough. And um, again, we'll just see how it goes. I think to start, because we go first, um, we can pick up to three orders. The AI can take up to two. This is their workload in the top corner. Some of them are only one, some of them are three, so just like us. This one has two. Um, so they can take up to two orders. We will take up to three. And the AI work, essentially, they have to take orders up to their workload. They will never just have one, essentially. Um, once they've got orders uh, up to their workload, they will then go to get mints, and then when they've got all the mints they need, um, they will go to complete their order. So it's a pretty straightforward and relatively self-explanatory um, order of play. We can, obviously, we're free to make our own decisions, but we can't do anything until we get an order, so I think that's probably what we'll concentrate on. Now, you'll notice that three of these are in the same place, and that does make it easier to fulfill, um, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm half tempted by this one and this one. Um, once we put the orders um, on our kind of on our to-do list, if you will, we're going to flip over the top orders, and the game ends when three of these piles are empty. We've got two freshness falls orders, and that is our turn. That counts as two. Oh, that counts as two actions: take an order and take an order. Um, and they're pretty high scoring too, so I'm not feeling too bad about it. And I think if we can get down here, maybe grab some some of these red, some of these white, you know, I think we'll be all right. We've got four spaces with which to hold mints on our truck, and we can only take mints um, of the same color at once. Um, at least that's how I've read the rules. Correct me if I am wrong. The AI is going to go, and they are also going to take orders. This is where that order preference comes in, because they are always going to take the blue, and then they're always going to take a red if there is no blue available, um, which there is not. So they're going to take this Cinnamon Center as well. And that's actually pretty good for us because you see Cinnamon Center and Peppermint Pines are on opposite sides of the board. Um, I would like to maybe put this where you can maybe see it, but I don't know if I've got a good way of doing it. Because I don't want you to confuse the... Oh, look at that five-star order. So we need to confuse the order market with their orders, and I don't want to confuse them with mine. I want you to be able to see the board more than anything. I do, like, I get the whole mint tin thing. Like, this is cool, and I could take it, obviously, anywhere. Um, not that I could play this anywhere, really. It's quite fiddly. Um, but I, I don't know. I just kind of feel, I just kind of find myself wishing that I had a board rather than nine cards. But, I mean, that's just maybe being a bit picky. So it's my turn again. They've they've done their fulfill orders, and now they have enough orders to complete their workload, right? Again, their workload is two. So they next time will go to get some mints themselves. We are going to have to spend the turn moving, which is kind of frustrating, but there you go. So we're going to go one and two. That's our movement. And they are going to do the same thing, I guess. They're going to go one and two here, and they're ready to start picking up mints. We are not, but our turn is going to be one. Now we're ready to start picking up mints. And I think what we'll do is maybe just pick up just pick up this mint, I think. I think that's the way to do it. We're going to have to waste a turn, I think, going up to Freshness Falls and back, which is a bit annoying, but, you know, what can you do, eh? Because um, we can't, we, there's no way for us to hold, well, okay, hold on. Yeah, what, yeah we're going to have to take, we're going to have to take some turns. So we take either one Cinnamon Mint, two spearmint or four regular mints so obviously we're going to take one red mint because that's what we need and we'll put that in our truck like so that's our turn done um we didn't we took off the end so we don't need to shift any mints or anything like that and then it's the ai's turn so they will try to take mints essentially that will fulfill their order they don't have a truck necessarily that's going to get full so they can just hold as many mints as they want um, but they can take mints again from both sides so I suppose they'll probably try to take a green. And they can't take a red, which is actually kind of good for us. Um, because they're going to be stuck for a second. Um, so I suppose if they take two of these green... Well, I don't know if they would take two. I think they just take one. I don't think they take the extra one. 
um, but I could be wrong there as well. AI card says to take mints until they have enough to fulfill their orders, so I think that's a reasonable assumption that they don't take extra to fulfill later orders. So this Peppermint Pines will be fulfilled at some point, but they're going to have to get the Cinnamon Center as well, which is a white and a red. We are going to do something like... We can be a bit strategic if we want to and take more than we need. So I think if we just pick up an extra regular mint, then why not? Off the east belt, and then we'll be able to get the, the second red mint we need, and then we don't have to spend two turns going backwards and forwards. So I think that's a better... I, I could claim all three of these regular mints from the starting four, but then I'd have a full truck, so I'd have to go and leave and come back. So I'm, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Next turn we'll pick up the cinnamon mint, and I think we'll be good. Um... They are going to attempt to pick up a cinnamon mint as well. Um, and I suppose they'd probably do something like this, wouldn't they? So they've got... Um, that will be one turn. That will be two turns. And they've completed their taking... They've completed their loading phases, I suppose. And now they're going to have to go and trudge off to Cinnamon Center and Peppermint Pines. Um, let me just zoom out a little bit. Maybe that's a better idea. Because then you can actually see the board. Or see their, see their card, I should say. Lovely. Much better. Now you can see what they're actually doing. So, we are still here. Oh yeah, this gets slid back there. They've completed their loading phase. We are still here, and we're ready to load another red mint into our truck. That's one turn, and this would be two um, to move. And we have got a full truck of mints. We are so fresh right now. Um... They are going to move as well. I don't really think it matters where they move. Um, so if they go one, two, they're going to go up to Peppermint Pines. I think we can stand on the same space. I don't think there's any rules about that. But just, just to avoid confusion, I will have them come up this way first. So they're going to go to Peppermint Pines to fulfill. But that's one, two. That's their turn. So pretty slow and steady wins the race at the moment. We are going to go to Freshness Falls. And that's one to move. Free action to fulfill. So, oops, I forgot to move that. So these are both fulfilled. I'm going to turn them upside down. We've got seven points. I'm not going to remember that, but that's what we've got versus their six once they fulfill. So we're actually in the lead right now, but they're going to gain a star for each order. So actually, at the end of the game, they're still ahead. Never mind. I thought we were doing okay. Well, we are. We're not doing terrible. We can put these back on any belt we care for. And um, to be honest, I don't... I don't mind them back here, frankly. Um, it's an okay mix. That was one for Phil and then two back here. So we're back on the way to take some more orders and we'll choose whatever's left. Mel is going to do one for Phil this one. Um, so we'll put this back here too. That's still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, okay, so we're still... Both of them can have a maximum of ten on them. So this one's fulfilled, and now, now Mel's got to go all the way back over here, which is frustrating for them, but good for me. So that's two. And then I'm going to spend my turn going one, two into the take order space. Mel is going to go one, two. I mean, you can see how quick this plays, right? It's like it's a pretty straightforward... You never really have to think about what the AI is going to do. They always are going to do the most sensible thing, which obviously right now is just to move to the place they need to go. Um, we, on the other hand, are taking some orders. And again, we've got this kind of build-up on Freshness Falls, which I don't feel too bad about. I mean, this is a nice, tempting offer. But to get two Cinnamon Mints, we're going to have to go here and then come all the way back over to Spearmint Springs, which is a bit frustrating. Whereas if we do Freshness Falls... Like, let's say we could do these two, for example, and we could fulfill this in two turns quite easily. So I'm going to take these two again. I'm going to just stick on Freshness Falls, I guess. I should say that there is a massive pile of um, orders. So we deal 20 out into this pile, but there's there's lots, lots more. So there's quite a lot of variety, um, which is nice. Um, so not, not that you probably recognize if you're getting different orders, but you are usually getting different orders on each game. Um, we've got two Freshness Falls orders, and I think that's all right. It'll be an extra five points, and we're not, and we're, we're spreading the love between the piles, so that's good too. <laughs> Peppermint Pines looks like a pretty hot shot for next turn, um, and that is the one that they will take actually. So hmm. maybe I should pick up one of those as well. Eh, I don't know. Maybe, probably not though. I don't want to push it. Mel's turn, and they are going to move one for Phil. 
to go one on here and I'll put this one on there on the back. That's fulfilled. Um, and then two back to the road there. We are gonna go over here as well, one, two. And then they are gonna go one, two. We're basically swapping places and we are gonna go one and then we're gonna pick up some mints. So if we pick up one, two, three white mints again, we'll have room for just one more green next turn preferably that one, and we should be good. Mel is going to pick up two blue orders, so that is these two. Um, I'm not sure, maybe I should, I should take the one with the stars first and then see what this is, because if this is a blue one with more stars, which it actually is, funnily enough, then they'll take that one instead. So it, it goes by um, color, and then if there's a tie, then it goes by stars. I hope that makes sense. I think it does. So they've actually got a pretty big order on their hands um, of eight stars total. Two greens, one white, and one red. The only saving grace is that might take them a while to pick up all those mints. Um, so we might be able to complete a second round of order before they're even done. Maybe. Um, we've got three white mints. We're going to take one turn to load this green mint, and then we're going to take another turn to move. They are going to go one and two down here, ready to load in that robot-only loading zone. And we are going to go up to Freshness Falls. That's one. Fulfill both of these. Not bad. And we'll put these back on... No, we can't put them back on here because it's full. So I guess we'll put them back here um, in a whatever pattern we prefer. And then we'll move back here. That's two. Mel will take... What will Mel take? They cannot take two green mints from either belt. They can only get one from each. No, actually, no, that's not even true. They can't get any green from this. I'm, I'm thinking they have to start here, not here. Um, again, because it's clockwise. So this is the front you cannot take from the back. So they could take this one, and they could take this one. But this is good for us, because they, they really are a bit scuppered in terms of what they can get. I think they're going to load from this west belt, though. Which is funny, because we've only loaded from the east belt, and I think they've only loaded from here. But this is, I think, the best one for them, because they've got two greens they need, a red, and they can pick up a white. So they'll pick up a white, um, that's one, and then they'll do two greens, that's two turns. Or two actions, I should say. And we'll slide these back. They'll have to pick up the red next turn, but then they'll be ready to go. So let's do us one, two. They are going to pick up a red for one and then move for two. And we're going to pick up some orders. So we've got cinnamon center for three. Mm -hmm. We've got freshness falls again, which isn't, you know, that does seem to be our preferred, our preferred location, doesn't it? Once they're done with Peppermint Pines, we could theoretically have Spearmint Springs be pretty decent. This is going to be two, though. Like, I would like to do Peppermint Pines and Spearmint Springs and get three, th these three whites, and then the two reds from the back will become the next available order, but that's going to be a lot of turns. There are abilities in the single player game, which I think you probably could build into the solo mode. There are abilities um, where you can like, I think you can like upgrade your truck. Yeah, you can upgrade your truck. Creative packing, your truck gains one mint capacity. I'm pretty sure you could play with at least some of these. There's some abilities that don't work for this because the, the because the multiplayer game is played on a different map. It's played with like these roads rather than this kind of like factory layout. So there's different like traffic jams and things you can put in places which wouldn't work solo, but this, there's a couple of them that would, um, that you could play with, I think, to make it a bit more varied. Um, but this is a long way of saying that I wish I had five minutes capacity, but I do not. So what do we do if we don't do that? We could go for Freshness Falls again, but we're, oh yeah, we could, we could pick up these up these the thing is we want to get lot okay we want to get the ones with large stars because 
if we do a lot of small ones, then Mel will be getting more points because they gain one point for every order we complete. So they've already got four extra points on us there. Whereas if we do like one big one, I think I'm going to take Spearmint Springs. Let's do this big one and let's see what else comes up. I don't know. Peppermint Pines for three. Do we take one or do we get a hop on? We need one, two. They'll fulfill in their next turn. So this red will come back here. We'll go one, two. They'll come back. I think we'll have time. Ooh, I don't know. Tricky, tricky. I'm not sure. There's, there's a little bit of planning going on, but I'm not sure that my strategy really matters in the grand scheme of things. Um, I think if I'm going to go for anything, it should probably be Peppermint Pines. Um, because this is harder to get than this, even though this is more mints to carry. Well, I can't because I can't fulfill both of these at a time. I can do these both at a time. Okay, fine. Goodness gracious, that was a lot of deliberation. Spearmint Springs for four. That would have been good. Yeah, that would have been really nice, actually. But those are my two actions for taking some turns. The red truck is going to go one and two to Peppermint Pines, and they are going to fulfill for free. So, again, we get to choose this, which does give us a bit of advantage, but we get to put whatever we want um, on the conveyor belt in whatever order we want, I should say. So we'll keep these reds together so we can pick them both up. Um, like I said, once we get here, which we're going to do the next turn, one, two, um, we will, one, two, be able to go one, and then we can, sh if we wanted to, we could shift these around. So like from the front of the conveyor belt to the back, and we would shift two of them per action. So like one, two would leave us with the ability to get what we needed. Um, although, of course, so would, so would like taking this mint and then taking this mint yeah i mean and then i'm still gonna have to shift i think at the end of the i'm, no, I'm gonna have to i'm gonna do it have to do at least one shift so you know that's fine oh wait did i just move here i think i did i didn't I just did one so i can't claim both of them i can only claim i can only sh i'll just shift i'll just shift i'm just gonna shift these okay that's my shift so now I've got one white that I need, one green that I need, and two reds coming up. Pretty straightforward. Cool. Um, these are fulfilled. I should turn them over because that's going to confuse me. And then we've got one and take an order, which is going to be Peppermint Pines. Um, they do have to wait till the next turn to get the next one, though. So that's kind of good. Oh, my goodness. Five stars. Um, that is going to be what they're picking up next turn. Oh, that is frustrating. Maybe we can end the game before they get to do that. <laughs> Maybe we can end the game before they get to do that. I don't know. Um, probably not is my thought. Right. We shifted the mints. Now we're going to pick them up. So we'll use one turn to pick up this singular, singular white mint. And we'll use one turn to pick up this singular green mint. Then we're going to use, or sorry, action. I'm using turn and action interchangeably, which I shouldn't be. But then next turn, we're going to have to spend two actions again to grab our two red mints. But... Uh, it'll be okay. Um, Mel is going to claim Cinnamon Center. That's one turn. And then two turns will take them back to the center. Back toward the robot loading dock. We are going to take one action and two action from the Cinnamon Mints at the front. And then Mel is going to move down and go one. And then try to claim... Um, I suppose they'd probably claim one two, three in a go and get peppermint pines ready to fulfill. We are going to go uh, one and uh, doesn't really matter, does it? Two up to peppermint pines. It will fulfill for free. That's one more order done. Annoyingly, we've got to go one, two back up to spearmint springs, which is frustrating, but there you go. Whoop. And then Mel is going to spend their turn doing take take for two so they've got five stars in the bag we are going to go one two and fulfill our order oops i forgot to put these back mm, where do we want them i don't suppose it really matters at this point maybe i'll just split the reds a little better like we'll do this and then we'll do you can have a white and you can have a green 
So that was one, two. We are stuck in Spearmint Springs. Mel, on the other hand, is going to Cinnamon Centre and Peppermint Pines, which I suppose it's only fair to have them try to fulfill the most expensive order first, because that's probably what I would do if I were Mel. So I'll go one and two up here. And green, which is me, um, will go... Well, I mean, obviously we're going to do this, but I don't know what we're going to do next. Um, or I don't know which order we're going to take next, I should say. Um, Mel will go one. Fulfill the order. Yes, lovely. Oops, you're going back on here. Um, order fulfilled. Brilliant. And then two back here to go to Peppermint Pines. We are going to go one, and we can only, f we can only pick up one order. Um, and I'm a bit worried that we won't have time. We, no one's picked. I think this has been out from the start, which is quite funny. Um, but I'm I'm a bit worried that we're not gonna be able to have time to f to wait for another turn, so I'm gonna grab Spearmint Springs, one two, one two, one two, take their orders. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have time. I think we've got to run to get this one two three. Yeah, I think we're gonna just be able to complete this one before they pick up these two and um, and end the game. Because the, the game ends as soon as there are no more cards in those three piles. So I think we've got three turns left in this game. So let's 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 bang it out real quick, right? So that was my turn. That was a one. Yeah. Um, or I should say it was a one and then a this. One, two, yeah. So that was my only thing. This is my, this is Mel's only thing, one and two. This is my only thing, one, two. Mel will go up to Peppermint Pines, one for Phil, which it doesn't really matter where, I don't think. Oh, well, I can't put him there because it's too full. And then Peppermint Pines fulfilled, and then two back here to the crossroads. We will go down to the factory and say, hand over your best spearmints, please. Mel, I should obviously be turning the truck. The, I mean, you know, they're not driving in reverse all the way back to the factory. Really. Um, Mel will go one, two. Oh my goodness! Yeah, look at this. We're going to do it just in time because we are going to move one, two, fulfill our order with Spearmint Springs, and then they are going to pick up red and then green but not fulfill it three out of four piles are gone that is the end of the game goodness gracious we just snuck under the wire there so they don't get these ones of it's because they didn't fulfill them but let's see um let's see what they did get should we count theirs first i don't i don't i, I don't have a great feeling about this four eight eleven uh 13 17 Oof, 22, that's a big killer. 22 for them, I've got to write that down because I will forget. 22. Um, plus a point for each one of ours. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're up to 29. Yeah, there's no way I've won. Um, <laughs> 4, 7, 10, 12, 15, 24. They've beat us by 4 points. Wait, 5 points. <laughs> 7, 10, 12, 15, 24, yeah, 5 points. 29 to 24, and Mel in the red number 5 truck has beat us by 5 points. Not bad, but not brilliant. I think if we'd have got, I think if we'd been able to hold them up a couple more times, either by shifting some mints around or something, I have yet to, yet to figure out the perfect strategy for this game. Um, or maybe any strategy at all. But I think if you spend more of your turns trying to mess with the AI, then you'll have a better luck than if you just try to play a game, like play the game through and just see if you can win. I think you have to really be quite aggressive um, at like screwing over their turns, which is kind of fun and interesting, um, but usually not how I play games. So it's a bit of an adjustment um, in trying to like mess with the opponent specifically. But an interesting little game and a fun little, you know, obviously for a portable game, um, a fun little puzzle. Um, yeah, and then like the, like I said, the multiplayer has this like cool map that I do kind of wish I could play on um, by myself. And 
um, and also um, that I wish was just a single piece of cardboard. But again, that's just my that's just my you know that's just what I take. But yeah, look, it's you've got little oops, you've got little towns and all the towns you can pick up mints and I don't know, looks kind of cool. But I haven't played it, so I can't tell you about it. But that was the solo mode for mint delivery i do hope you've enjoyed um go check it out if you like i'm pretty sure this is one that they did a, a print and play before the game actually came out so it might still be available i'm not sure if i can find it i'll put it in the in the description um do go check out the patreon if you like have a poke around there and see if there's anything that takes your fancy um the link to that will be in the description as well otherwise um come check out check out blah, 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 come check out the discord that'll be lovely to see you come chat and talk about all things solo board gaming and yeah, I think that's it. Um, thank you so much again to my lovely, unbelievable, fantastic, and amazing patrons. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited to embark on this, the next step of this journey with you all. And yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, until next time, I will see you later.